Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to factory reset or restore your Acer Aspire laptop running Windows 10. So it should hopefully be a pretty straightforward tutorial. And without further ado, let's jump right into it. So we're going to first start off by saying that I would highly recommend that you create a backup of any important files or documents that are important to you that are stored on your computer because even though there is an option to supposedly keep your files there's no guarantee and it's really not saying how it appears and I'll explain further when we get into that part of the video but I would just highly suggest you create a backup of your computer if you have not already done so but anyway we're going to jump into it and we're going to start by opening up the start menu and you either want to search up settings or left click on the little gear icon on the left side here that says settings when you hover over it now in the settings window you want to go down until you get to the update and security tile and just left click on that tile one time. Now on the left side here you want to go down and left click on the recovery tab and now on the right underneath recovery reset this PC. If your PC isn't running well resetting it might help. This lets you choose to keep your personal files or remove them and then reinstall as windows. Left click on get started. So you're going to have two options here, keep your files, which remove apps and settings, but keeps your personal files. And the second option, remove everything, which remove all your personal files, apps, and settings. First option, I would highly suggest that even if you do select this, I would create some backups of important files on some kind of external media source, like a USB flash drive or a DVD or whatnot. Second option is a true factory reset. It will put your computer back to a clean state. So we're going to select that. And now there's going to be a couple more prompts we're going to have to go through here. Okay, so it's going to ask you want to clean the drive still. Now, if this is a personal computer and that you're not planning on donating, I would just recommend selecting the first option here to just remove your files, which is quicker. Second option, remove files and clean the drive. This is slower, so if you're going to be recycling or giving to somebody else, I would select the second option. But for most people, the first option will be sufficient here, so that's one we're going to select. And then finally, we're going to have to confirm that resetting will remove all the personal files and user accounts on this PC. All apps and programs, as well as any changes made settings, this will take a while and your PC will restart. Left on the reset button here to commence this process. It will take some time, so again, please be patient.
Okay, so at this point you're going to enter in some information. You're going to enter your country, preferred language, keyboard layout, and what time zone you're in. And then once you've checked all of that, you're going to select Next. It'll begin applying these settings. You're going to have to accept the end user license agreement. You can use Express settings to instantly get back and speed up the process a little bit. Or you can click on Customize right here. It should be the middle button and you can customize what you're exactly installing when you're resetting Windows 10. So if you want to disable sending input data to Microsoft, you can deselect that by clicking inside of these horizontal boxes. And you can go through and check them out on your own, but I'm going to keep most of them default how they are. And I'm going to select Next here. I'm going to select Next again. Again. And you guys are more than welcome to go check through and see exactly what you are agreeing to. I'm just trying to speed this video up a little bit. Okay, so at this point you have the option to enter in your Microsoft account credentials if you were previously using a Microsoft account to use your account. You could also create a new Microsoft account or you could skip this step and create a local account on your computer, which what I'm going to do. So I'm just going to do a quick little example for you guys. I am not going to enable Cortana, so I'm going to select not now. And there we go. We can see we are logging into Windows. And it should be a fresh install of Windows we are logging into right now. Okay, so we actually have an update waiting, but I'm not going to select that, so I'm going to do not now, bottom left. Okay guys, I'm back. So our Acer Aspire computer has been restored back to a factory state. So at this point in time, you should be good to go. And as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.